Hello, this is a review for Strawberry Cupcake. I picked this up at Bath & Body Works um, about a week ago or so. And let me read what Bath & Body Works in White Barn says about this candle. It says, the irresistible fragrance of buttercream frosting made from fresh garden strawberries on a classic Madagascar vanilla cupcake. And that just sounds amazing. Um, I think I would love everything about what that sounds like. Buttercream frosting, fresh garden strawberries, cupcakes, um, and Madagascar vanilla cupcake, no less. And I just picked this up kind of on a whim. I actually went back for a sale. I thought that the two for 24 at Bath & Body Works would still be going on the next day. And it looked like that the haul that I did, the purchases that I made, in my last Bath & Body Works um, video that I got the tail end of that sale. I literally went in, I think it was like half hour before closing and I wanted to make one more stop as well. So I went through and basically quick picked very quickly. The next day when I went back, I had a coupon sale and the other sale was over. So I went over to the 50% off clearance area and I found this and also the pomegranate lemonade candle that I recently reviewed. Now, this is the second one, um, or one of two rather, that I picked up here is another one. I picked up two strawberry cupcakes because normally this is a, a fragrance that's right up my alley. I had never purchased it before. I thought that the jar, and it still is very beautiful, and then later I came home and did the research on this. So, um, what's interesting about that is I immediately was kind of bummed. I'm like, oh no, because some of the reviews that I saw for this candle were not that great, to be completely honest with you. People were saying, oh, actually back into the store, um, I hesitated even then a little bit because the ladies were saying, oh, this smells like pink cotton candy. And it doesn't really smell like cupcake, like kind of like giving me a heads up. And then I kind of wondered, is that why there's so many of these left on the clearance rack? Um, more of these, even more of the strawberry cupcake scent, even than the, than the pomegranate lemonade. Only to find out that it wasn't that strong um, from reviews. So I was super skeptical, but I thought for $6 and some change, I couldn't go wrong with trying this candle. So a couple things. Um, as you can see, it's really toward the end here. Oops, I accidentally just knocked out one of those wicks there. Let's see if I can't revive that baby. Oh, it's trying to come back to life. Look at that. I think it's pulling it off. My goodness. Okay, wait, let's see. What, what else happened there? Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, I gotta re revive this other guy over here. Okay. There's the three wicks there. You see that? Um, I've got a confession to make as well. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> I accidentally left this burning, but not when nobody was home, but I left this um, to go and it's obviously been burning a very long time. It's got a complete liquid wax pool. Um, and I would never normally do that, but what was kind of cool about this, I'm kind of getting right into the main thoughts on this uh, performance of this candle here in terms of throw. When I came home, I thought, Oh, I kind of smell that candle, but I didn't think I had this burning. I thought, is that, like, what is that smell? I and mean, it was very faint, but enough that I obviously detected it. So I had left this burning, and again, thankfully, I didn't leave it alone completely in a house by itself. I think that is just the most dangerous thing that a candle burner can do. You just want to be so careful. And, um... So when I came home, I smelled this coming up the stairs and I was so excited. And that sounds so corny maybe because I thought this was a super light thrower. And um, it turns out that it's just been burning for a really long time and it is putting off fragrance and I'm so happy. I would probably agree with some of the other reviewers of this candle that said they didn't smell a whole lot of cupcake, but I do smell a little bit. I smell what they mean by the cotton candy smell when the lady said in the store, and I would almost characterize it as a strawberry 
cotton candy slash cupcake candle. It's a super pleasant scent, it turns out. I really am pleasantly surprised based on the reviews I had heard. I'm so happy. I say this like this because I have been so let down by so many Yankee candles lately that it's just really borderline bumming me out. That might sound so silly, but those of you that are long-term lovers of Yankee Candle that have been let down by those $28 candles, you know what I'm talking about. Let me show you real briefly again how the candle looks when you first purchase it. Beautiful white barn and um, label. Classic, classy, classy. Hot, hot pink. Um, actually, I take that back. This is more of a reddish pink red than the, the pomegranate lemonade when it was the very hot, hot pink one. Kind of like a fluorescent almost. And then here's what the candle looks like on cold. It smells like it does a little bit on cold when it is lit and liquefied, but a little bit stronger and a little bit better. I could smell it coming out of the room that it's in into the hallway, and that's about it though. I would say the throw out of 10, maybe be a, like a three, a three or a four, more like a three, because it's so faint, and you might sound, think that's a lower rating for, for how far it threw. It's just that it's super, super light. Another way of putting it might be that when you have a melt or a tart or a wax cube that you really, really like, and it's been melting for a little while, and it might not be as strong as it once was, but you can still smell it. That's what <laughs> that's what came to mind when I was thinking of how could I describe the scent throw that while pleasant is not in your face. And I do think that a lot of people might be going for something like that. Like you might want to have some ambiance, some candles, the flame and the, you know, how it gives off a real peacefulness, a really um, a lovely tone by having a candle flickering. The flame is just a lovely, to me, really a peaceful, wonderful, calming, nice thing to have going in your house. Knowing, especially when you're not having to worry about um, soot issues or black billowing smoke and that sounds a little dramatic but i'm kind of serious i've seen that happen and that drives me absolutely crazy i can take a lot of things with candle burning but i can't take the black billowing smoke in blackening soot up into the environment like onto the walls or the draperies or the ceiling <clears throat> okay going off on the tangents but coming bringing it back home i love this candle i'm so excited and if I could just, you know, kind of give why I'm so excited is that I was excited when I got it and then I was kind of bummed when I read the reviews and heard the reviews. I'm like, oh, shoot, I'm going to have to take this back. I don't want to waste the money. Only to come full swing back around to, wow, this is awesome. It's great. It smells good to me. I'm glad I tried it. Even though it's light, I'll take it because here's the thing, you guys, again, totally unattended, totally makes me feel safe. I've had a major candle fire. That's in another video, the story about that. It's like a little dramatics of a story, but come on now. I don't need to ever be worrying about a candle fire. And if this has been left burning like this with no, no issues, I'm totally impressed considering like if there had ever been crazy flame going on, like huge uh, mushroom wicks and black smoke, you'd be seeing evidence of that all in here. Maybe on the wall back there, nothing, nothing. I'm so impressed. So yay, yay, Bath and Body Works. You're kind of winning me over and I am, I'm hard to win over. I'm a tough cookie to win over um, on these kinds of things because I'm sorry, I'm just like, I've got my money, who wants money, who wants my candle money, um, and I'm seriously paying attention to the companies, <laughs> it sounds so silly, but if you think about it, um, people who are willing to part with their money for a good candle, um, we've got lots of options in the world, and who are we going to pick, 
and thank you Bath and Body Works. I can kind of see where I couldn't really before, um, just because I'm really, uh, like I said, I'm a tough cookie to win over. I'm starting to see why um, these candles could win people over. And keep in mind, bear in mind that this is not because it threw so crazy strong, amazingly well, and it just smells pleasant. And let's look at this closer too. I know this is getting long. Oh, you guys know I can ramble, so sorry. I would expect that there would be like lots of um, what would look like World War II and three leftover candle wax and soot and pieces of who knows what down there for an unattended candle. Nothing. You guys, I haven't been trimming the wicks. It looks so nice. It's like the end of the candle. No soot, no blackening. I am so impressed because I could smell it and it's just nice, peaceful, happy, and burning down. Um, had I been paying more attention, I can guarantee you I wouldn't be down to here on this candle right now. I would only be maybe like up to here or here, but that's okay. It's been performing beautifully. And so I guess that's kind of why I'm going on and on. You guys get the idea. Thank you um, to Bath and Body Works and White Barn for making a beautiful candle. I was totally skeptical. I'm totally won over. Oh my gosh. And I'm not taking this other one back. And the ladies in the store were like even telling me, if you don't like it, because they could see my hesitance, my hesitancy. Oops. They could see that. And it's like, well, ma'am, you could always bring it back. And kind of like, don't tell anybody, but we're telling you, like, you could bring it back if you don't like any of these. All three of these white barn, um, the, the pomegranate lemonade and this one totally won me over. And I'm like super skeptical. So pardon my borderline silliness and goofiness on this, you know, being so excited, but I just am. So yay, I'm excited. Thank you for watching. Thanks for clicking on my video. Um, if you guys can get a hold of any of these, I, I imagine there might be a few um, hanging around the stores somehow, maybe um, a couple of I left are hanging out there. I love it. I'm so excited. Yay. Thanks again for watching <laughs> and for bearing with my rambling. Have a good evening, folks. Bye-bye.